everyone, you're watching Narrations by KK. I am the author Karina Gantas. I'm going to be reading a small excerpt from my new book, Toxic. It's a collaboration with another author, uh, Karen J. Mossman. I hope you enjoy this excerpt. Feeling relaxed and exhausted, Lexi decided to leave it until the following morning before contacting Marcus. She wanted to look fresh and a long sleep would help with that. Lexi was so tired she didn't hear Aaron coming in or feeling him cradling her as she slept late. It was early afternoon when she woke. Jumping up, Lexi panicked and started rushing around the place. She ate a grain bar, sipped some spring water while trying to find something suitable to wear. This makes me look like an old mallet, Lexi thought as she tried on her third outfit, flinging it aside on top of the growing pile of clothes. She sighed can't find anything to wear. Everything makes me look like I'm trying too much or not enough, she moaned. Lexi eventually settled for brown slacks and a cream tunic. She plaited her hair, remembering how Marcus used to like undoing it, just to annoy her. The closer she came to the west sector, the more nervous she became. And by the time she finally stood outside the entrance, everyone and everything was making her jump. Get a grip, you'll scare him off before you open your mouth, she scolded. Lexi didn't want to look as though she was waiting, lingering. And remembering the committee member's voice, we are always watching. Lexi decided to sit on the ground just around the corner from the sector and then opened her manual on her console. She tried to revise, but images of his face popped up on the identification of a terror plant and again on the paragraph about fault explosions. Most of the information Lexi already knew thanks to her medic training. She'd read every chapter, memorising all the points that she was sure would be covered in her examination twice over, and at least a dozen rangers and trackers had gone in and out of the sector, but no Marcus. Just as Lexi resigned herself to the fact that he wasn't coming out, the hiss of the door caught her attention again. She heard a female voice first before she peered around the corner. A woman, a ranger, stepped out into the light followed by Marcus. Lexi took an intent of breath and she studied his face. There was barely any sign of the boy she'd grown to love. In place was a malloc, a perfect specimen, almond coloured eyes, dark thick eyebrows and there was that smile, she thought as she watched him laugh at something the female malloc had said. There was a familiarity about her. Lexi's attention moved from Marcus onto the female face that was growing more familiar with every moment that passed. Marcus leaned in and spoke quietly to her and she returned with an affectionate laugh and said, You're so harsh sometimes, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Lexi's skin crawled. She hid back around the wall while her heart felt like it was pumping out of her chest. Her legs buckled and she slid down to the ground. It was May. She hoped she'd never hear that voice again. She almost forgot about the mental torture May had put her through growing up. May was the invisible bully that left no marks. Her cruelty had left a bruise that never quite healed and now everything had come full circle. Memories of her previous years, the name she was called, the spitefulness, the bullying, it all came crashing on her in one fell swoop and she couldn't breathe. Lexi. Lexi, are you all right? What's wrong? Lexi! Lexi heard her name the third time and looked up to see the concerned face of Shah staring down at her. I don't feel too good, Lexi stuttered. Let me help get some help, Shah suggested. No, take me home. I'll be fine. I, I just need to rest. It's probably something I ate, Lexi replied. Well, at least take a gram of Dozak powder. It will help you sleep. You look dreadful. I don't care how I look. He's here. Marcus is here. And he's with May, that leech. 
She'd taken everything away from me, first my childhood and now Marcus. Now they're here to torture me further. I must pass my ranger training. It's the only way I can get out of this place. Sha waited until Lexi had taken a dose of Dozak and settled in bed before she'd got up to leave. Now, get word for me if you need anything help. If you need anything, I'll be to check on you in again soon. Don't worry about work. I'll take care of the inoculations. There's no way I can get close to either of them with a steady hand. I'd probably stab May in the eye just to see how she liked Dozak Green die. Lexi nodded and then closed her eyes. So that was an excerpt from uh, my book uh, Toxic, uh, collaboration with uh, Karen J. Mossman. You can read the adult version, which is uh, Karina Gantis, uh, on uh, iBooks and Barnes and & Noble and Amazon. And the cleaner version, which is by uh, Karen J. Mossman, again still called Toxic, on Amazon as well. Thank you for watching um, KK Narrations.